What I'm holding here in my hand is a physical representation of what's going on inside that mind of yours right now. This little battery holds so much power, doesn't it? Not just in a physical sense, but in a symbolic way as well. This AA battery has two ends, a positive and a negative terminal. When you insert this battery into a device, it completes a circuit. The chemicals inside the battery cause electrons to build up at the negative end of the terminal. These electrons want to flow to the positive terminal so bad, but they need a path to do so. This is where a device comes in. Once the electrons begin to freely flow from the negative to the positive side, they power your device up, whether it's a remote, your smartphone, or even a toy. So the negative end of this very battery is just as important as the positive end. That's the point that I'm making here. Your mind works in extremely similar fashion. You have positive thoughts and negative thoughts. I used to spend so much of my energy and time attempting to get rid of fight off all of those negative thoughts once I learned about conscious creation. But as we all know, energy is neither created nor destroyed. You cannot destroy negative thoughts, but you can use them to fuel your favorable ones. It's about high time that we break down how to transmute that negative energy into fuel for your positive thoughts. So let's get to it. Let's get back to this battery again. In this small battery, the energy moves in a directed way and the same is true for your thoughts. If you let your energy only flow toward the negative side, doubt, fear, frustration, you'll drain yourself just like a device that's not working efficiently. But if you consciously direct your energy toward the positive side, which is belief, gratitude, and conviction, you create power. You keep the energy flowing in a productive way that actually benefits you. But if you consciously direct your energy toward the positive side, which is belief, gratitude, and joy, you create power. You keep the energy flowing in a productive way that actually serves you. Whether you're new to this game or have been playing for a while now, you've already had the same experiences or are experiencing in real time as we speak. This is why the hermetic principle of polarity rises up again. It's my favorite universal principle to talk about, especially when it comes to manifestation, simply because it teaches us how to navigate those waves of positive negative thoughts that come up during the process that we all willingly put ourselves through. If you ever found yourself battling between feeling super empowered one moment and then completely soaked in fear that it will never manifest into your life, then this episode is just for you. Let's do a quick recap on what exactly I mean when I speak about polarity. Polarity states that everything has an opposite, but those opposites are really just two extremes of the very same thing. As in my previous video that I made above, think about hot and cold for a second. They seem like opposites, but they're actually just two poles of temperature. You can't have one without the other and somewhere in between, there's a gradient. The same thing goes for other polarities like light and dark, love and hate, positive, and negative thoughts. Now, when it comes to manifestation, the principle of polarity is what you may have been struggling with during this entire process. If you haven't, then you naturally master exactly what I'm talking about, but stay tuned anyway. So if you were in the former bunch, you may be thinking, how can you manifest your biggest desires if you're struggling with negative thoughts day in, day out? Well, the first thing is to understand that those negative thoughts are not the enemy. Let me tell you why. That's because they are part of the same spectrum as your positive thoughts just like our little battery right here. Just like hot and cold, positive and negative thoughts are two sides of the same mental energy. So here's where polarity really comes into play. The key isn't to eliminate the negative thoughts, but to shift, better yet, to transmute your focus along the polarity from the negative side to the positive just like a battery does. Imagine your mind is like a thermometer even. Remember those? You don't actually have to make the cold disappear to experience warmth. You just need to turn the heat up a little bit. The same goes for your thoughts. If you're stuck in a negative mindset, you don't need to push those thoughts away or deny them. Instead, you need to acknowledge them and then consciously move yourself toward the positive end of that very same spectrum. This is when it's time to pay attention. This is where your awareness and your intention play a huge role in your life. During a spiritual awakening, you become more aware of your thoughts, your emotions, and the energy that you put out into the world. At first, this awareness can feel a little bit overwhelming because you start to notice all the negativity that was previously running in the background. All of those nasty programs that you've been given and running off of for decades are coming up to the surface. But don't worry, your boy got you covered. This is actually a good thing. Becoming aware is the first step toward making real changes in that mindset of yours. Let's talk about how you can start applying the principle of polarity into your manifestation practice. Whenever a negative thought pops up, don't beat yourself up about it. It's natural. Instead, recognize that the thought is just the opposite pole of something positive. 
For example, let's say you're trying to manifest wealth, for instance, but that voice in your head keeps jumping in and saying, you will always be broken. You'll never have enough money. Instead of getting frustrated or discouraged, recognize that the thought exists because the potential for abundance is already present in your consciousness. We can flip this like a burger on the grill to the side of belief that you can have financial abundance. Try not to spend so much time fighting the thought with verbal affirmations too. Look at it like this. If you are watching a horror movie that scares the dog shit out of you, how effective would it be to go over to the corner over there while still watching said horror movie and constantly repeating to yourself, I am brave, I am confident? Just a little bit of a joke, so don't get your feelings rougher. How about this? Brace yourself. How about you just get up and go watch another movie? Nobody said that you ever had to face your fears during manifestation and trigger yourself constantly day in, day out. Well, Maybe somebody told you that, but it sure as hell wasn't me. This mechanism works just fine when you divert your attention away from your fears by simply focusing on what does make you feel good while your fear weakens, withers, and dies away. So again, just focus your attention on something else as best as possible. You don't have to fight everything that comes up in your reality. This is exactly what I mean when I recommend that you transmute your energy, your attention, and your focus into something else rather than having tunnel vision on one desire. The goal here is to gently, gradually, gracefully shift your thoughts from the negative polarity to the positive. You can do this through affirmations, visualization, or even by simply changing your internal dialogue within your mind. So instead of staying stuck in, I'll never have enough, you start to think, I'm moving towards abundance. I'm opening myself up to receive more. You're not forcing yourself to be overly optimistic or participating in toxic positivity while you pretend that your doubts don't exist. You're just acknowledging it and then consciously choosing to turn up the positivity a little bit, just like the heat. Warning, this is a gradual process sometimes, so get comfortable with being uncomfortable. We are transforming your emotional and mental state of being, and there's no shortcuts around that. If you keep looking for shortcuts, it'll just drag out and the process will be longer and longer, making it more miserable all at the same time. It's also super important that you remember that this isn't a one time thing. Polarity is always in motion and you will probably experience both ends of the spectrum many times, even in a single day, or you will revisit it after your manifestation has already arrived. So get this experiences that you need now to make life even easier in the future. You'll get much, much better at catching those negative thoughts and moving yourself towards positive thoughts without all the struggle in between. As always, gratitude is on the menu just to remind you how good life already is. Your life isn't defined by one or two manifestations that haven't came yet. You can give yourself permission to enjoy everything that life has to offer while you wait for reality to catch up to your thoughts. Gratitude naturally raises your vibration and helps you to move toward the positive pull of those thoughts. When you start to feel a little bit drained and you get that empty feeling that comes dominantly when you're thinking negative all the time, take a moment and list a few things that you're actually grateful for. Play this game with your mind instead of letting your mind play games with you. This immediately starts shifting your mental energy towards the positive side of the spectrum of thoughts. And again, you're not denying the negative. You're just focusing on what you already have that's good in life. If you're still one of those people that are asking how to get through those tough days when everything in your reality is not aligning the way you want, then try this. Here's where polarity reminds us of something very, very, very important. Just because you're experiencing something that you perceive as negative doesn't mean that's where you're going to be stuck for the rest of your life. The pendulum always swings. If you're going through a tough time right now, trust that the opposite side, something positive, is also in your reality and you're just moving a little bit towards it. This spiritual journey of ours tends to bring that dynamic into focus. You might go through phases where old beliefs, old patterns, or even old relationships start to fall away. It can feel a little bit challenging, but these moments are just part of the growth that you're already going through. Without darkness, you cannot fully appreciate the light. Without experiencing what you don't want, you can't truly know what it is that you do want. The takeaway here is that polarity gives us a way to navigate life's ups and downs without getting stuck in either extreme. When you apply this principle to your spiritual journey, you're learning to flow with the natural cycles of positive and negative, knowing that both are part of the same whole. You become more resilient because you understand that no state is permanent. Everything is always shifting. Everything is always vibrating. Even if you're in a period of doubt or in a period of challenge, you can trust that things will swing back in your favor if you stay focused on the positive. That's our discussion for today. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, hit that like button, and share it with all your beautiful friends who benefit from this message. Don't forget to download the free scripting ebook available in the description where you will also find links to my one-on-one -on -one coaching offerings, social media, and our Discord server as well. 
I am Sean, and you are neither here nor there. Thank you for your time.